Hey, Mike. Hey, Sean. What's up? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm in my office. Hopefully, this works. If this isn't recording, doesn't see the light of day. Doesn't see the light of day. <laughs> it's a very adult office you have there. The the seascape portrait with the uh, birdhouse that should be on the tree is kind of adult. What about Ecto One? Oh yeah, this way. Um, yeah, probably not. What about the Batmobile? <laughs> and all the Ghostbusters yeah. right over there. Yeah. And Grogu and and uh, was it Superman and uh, the Jedi Jedi thing? You bought him right there. Yep. <laughs> well, I prove. <laughs> All right, so um, we have a beer courtesy of Pop Butcher. As always, thank you guys for sending this. This is Destination Moon. Where's my camera? Badass can art by Dan Jetsa, as always. Uh, this is Mosaic, Chinook, and Simcoe. I haven't had Chinook in a while. That excites me. But, yeah, well. <laughs> Let's oh, dive in. I always have to use some fucking janky ass shit to open up my cans. Oh shit! Well, that looks nice. Where's the haze? <laughs> I'm kidding. Where's the cat? There you are, bitch. Gotcha. Dump the water on the cat. Nice. Because cats love water. Where's the beef? I mean, the haze. I mean, it's really nice, though. It's a nice There's orange. Chill haze, but. It looks gorgeous. It's almost like Crayola orange. Seven and a half percent. Dude, look how pretty this looks on my screen. Yeah. It's ridiculous. If I hold it up to light, it's a little bit more yellow, but yeah. I mean, That's this looks gorgeous. like. It looks kind of like, like a burnt orange. Yeah, it, it, like the light is like hitting it perfectly too. It's awesome. My head went away relatively quickly, but. Mine did not. But, you know, I have a clean glass, so, you know. Yeah. That, that, <laughs> such is life. <laughs> it's got a nose. Let's do it. I mean, holy shit, dude. That smells yummy. Dude, this smells ridiculous. It's like I know berries, strawberries. Honestly, you know what this reminds me of a little, a little I know it's not hazy. This does sort of that treehousey thing to me a little bit, you know. It reminds me a so? little bit. Yeah, it does. It, it, in in the way of almost okay. like um, like bright or uh, even sometimes you get. I'm getting some of that thing you get from um, from um, that Nelson Sitter beer they make. I like out so much. Um, I forget. Doesn't matter. Uh, in purple. Like, yeah, in purple. I'm getting some some yeah. little things of there of that too. Um, um, but yeah, we already talked about the nose. The color looks gorgeous. I'm gonna spill it. So I, I I love like how like fresh and like it smells like fresh fruit in a big way. It smells like berries. It smells like grapes. It smells just like a little bit dank. It has. I mean, this has an awesome nose, Sean. I'm blown away by the nose. It it does. It's just like super. It's like there's lots of candy too, but it's not like confectionery sweetness sugar that I sometimes get from from Hupperture beers. It's like this more candied stone fruity berry sweetness, like almost like hard, um, like hard hard fruit candies. Yeah, yeah. I, I, and honestly, it has the color of, of like of like a yeah. like an orange tootsie roll, uh, tootsie roll uh, pop. Yeah, it has that color, you know, it's like off orange almost. And um, we got a taste. Let's do it. Cheers, my friend. Cheers, girl. That is. That is special, that hits, man. Oh my god. And after the day I've had, I needed this. Oh. I did. <laughs> yeah, dude. This is. It's. Like the part of the well, one, it's not it's not a juicy IPA. If if you're going into this hoping for uh, a, a juice bomb, no, you're going into a um, delicious uh, 
a delicious West Coast style IPA. It's, it's dank, it's resiny, but it's still got a lot of stone fruit and a lot and bursting with, with, with flavor. I, you know, actually, I do think actually, this is. I think it's, it's actually fruity and juicy. Um, but what it isn't, it isn't that it doesn't have that very soft, yeasty kind of like that, like that Julius style soft milk. It doesn't have that. But I do think it does have a lot of fruit on there, even on the palate. I think that it do, it is a little bit dank. Um, but man, I think the berries are coming right through. It is very, very like um, berry forward. It's you know um, just bursting with fruit flavor. I think. Um, I think you know it, it's um, it's not that clear, but you know. It does have some aspects of sort of a West Coast thing, but I wouldn't call this West Coast to, to me anyway. Mm. I don't know. I think it well it has more characteristics for me for what because when I'm thinking like the the more like bitterness resiny. This though, I think I've, we said this before, or maybe you've said it, or Kyle has said it, or someone has said it. This sort of tastes like when New England IPAs first started coming out. Um, like Treehouse was doing them and stuff like that, but then when other breweries started getting on the on the hype train and tried doing them, this is kind of what it tasted like. You know what I mean? A little like, bit. It's yeah. a little West Coast vibe. It still is rooted in in the West Coast mentality and was still super fruity. Yeah, I, I can I can get there. But regardless, it's absolutely delicious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I I love. I think it's awesome. Um, I love the mouthfeel too because it's not that super soft, but it is. It's so clean. It's bright. It yeah. just, just feels nice on the uh, on the palate. Uh, it's sparkly. It's a really nice mouthfeel. Uh, I mean, obviously, I almost have been in a gulp. I, I'm way into this beer. <laughs> yep. It's probably one of my favorite hot butchers I've had in, in in a while, and that's not a knock on any of the other ones I've had, but this this is really kind of hitting the spot for me. Kind of what I'm looking for when I'm going into an IPA lately less kind of hazy juice and more kind of give me a more of that like danky resininess with still some of that like fruity characteristics yeah and, and what it's interesting though because it's not particularly bitter you know it has a, it has some, no. some dank quality um and the fruit even though i do think it's bursting with fruit it is a little bit like on the candy side but i'm, I'm really into it it's almost like um it's almost like that that candy sugar evolves into that dankness and then it's just, and yeah, then it's like, really I need more. It. I need more. Yeah. I need more. I mean, I'm smashing the shit out of this. This is something if I had a four pack, it would not survive the night. No, no. And I, on the back, I'd say we nail a dank cherry, uh, not dank cherry, dank berry. Yep. White pine. Yep. And tangy grapefruit. Um, I can see it. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't catch that though. But yeah, I can definitely actually, see I, it. I almost said it a few minutes ago, actually. Mm. Yeah, this is, this, this is absolutely fantastic i don't know if this is a if, if this is a new beer or something that they brewed before it, it's new to us for sure but um i don't um, recognize the can art from anywhere else it's yeah i mean really it's, it's awesome it's hard to sort of put into context because we do we have had a lot of the beers um i feel like this is an echelon though you know what i mean it's in, it's in that top category of, of the beers for me no i agree 100 like, percent. like the top third you know Nope. Yeah. No. I'm. I'm. I'm 100 on board with that. I was just looking at the can. It, there's like little intricacies in the in the sky. There's like constellations. There's a, a butcher knife, which makes sense. There's a hop. There's some beer bottles. There's a couple things. I'm not sure what they are. Like I'm not sure if that's a barrel or a beer can. Uh. And 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 there's a mug. Oh, that is a mug. You're right. Yep. I was wondering. I, okay. Yep. 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 And it's really cool. Um. I mean, art. Yeah, the art's really awesome. awesome. And if anyone wants to check it out, I mean, I don't know how much we can show, but yeah, there's yeah, well, well, all of the and the and the awesome thing about Hot Butcher is they all their art, they have all the high res art on their website for every single one of the beers, so you can really go in and kind of dive in deep. Um, but yeah, down in the comments, have you had Destination Moon Hot Butcher's Mosaic Chinook and Simcoe hopped double IPA coming in at seven and a half percent? What do you think of it? What do you think of Hot Butcher in general? Um, what do you think of this compared to uh, other Hot Butcher beers? Um, and then I guess let us know is this a newer beer or do we just miss it before or didn't realize it? Um, 
But yeah, there's sense on net, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, if those are your things. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hit those notification bells. I'm Sean. That's Mike. And this is Nerds. This is Nerds.